Then is your local election headquarters, and we continue to explain both sides of ballot issues heading into next week's midterm election. Missouri Amendment 1 looks at the state treasurer's investment options. Color 10 Sydney Moran is explaining how this could change those options. Bailey and Steve, if voters approve Amendment 1, it would give the Missouri General Assembly statutory authority to expand investment opportunities. And as of right now, the Missouri General Assembly does not have that authority. As you head to the polls on November 8th, here's a look at what you'll see on the ballot. The Missouri Amendment 1 question reads, do you want to amend the Missouri Constitution to allow the General Assembly to override the current constitutional restrictions of state investments by the state treasurer and allow state investments in municipal securities possessing one of the top five highest long-term ratings or the highest short-term rating? So what does this all mean to you? I did some fact checking about Amendment 1 and here's what I found. Right now there are seven investment types the state treasurer can make. The types are outlined in an investment policy document on the state treasurer's website. If Amendment 1 passes, the Secretary of State's website says it would give the state treasurer the ability to invest in municipal securities. Municipal securities are bonds to help fund things like schools and roads. The resolution passed by the General Assembly says the amendment would also change certain bond durations from five years to seven years. The Secretary of State's website also says Amendment 1 would not impact taxes if voters approve it. If the amendment does not pass, the Secretary of State's website says the state treasurer would only make investments that are already approved in the Constitution. The House and Senate voted unanimously to put Amendment 1 on the ballot with only one representative opposing. Steve.